Welcome back to the channel. This is Motion Designer and in today's video, we're going to create this horror motion graphics in After Effects without using any plugins. And if you want to support what I do, you can buy this template. I would really appreciate that. Here I am in a new composition. I have the images inside this project panel. And let me go ahead and create a new composition, which is for a second. I'll rename it main comp. Hit OK. Grab a text and type in your text. I'll set it to white. Scale it up and align it to the center. I'm going to pre-compose this. Right click, pre-compose and rename this title. Hit OK. All right, let's go inside this image and grab the texture, drag and drop it here. And you might want to scale it down to fit the composition. Hit F4 on the keyboard to bring up the track mat options and select this and set it to Luma matte inverted like this. Select both these layers, right click and I'm going to pre-compose it again. Final title. One. Okay, so we have the title and the textures ready with a transparent pre-comp. Now what we're going to do is go to the project panel and grab your image. I want to turn off this layer for now and let's drag and drop the image here. Scale it down to fit the composition, something like this. And I want to pre-compose this again. Pre-compose and image placeholder 1. Okay, move all attributes and I'm gonna hit OK. So hit F4 to bring up the 3D switch. If you don't find this, you can toggle between the switch by hitting F4 on the keyboard. Both these layers are 3D and hit P on the keyboard to bring up the position and move it away from the camera somewhere here and maybe scale it up a little bit and go to the effects and presets and search for motion tile. So drag and drop this motion dial and check this mirror edges and I'm gonna expand the width to about 200 okay I'm gonna duplicate this Control D to duplicate and hit R on the keyboard and I'm gonna rotate this X rotation to 90 and drag this below somewhere here and I'm gonna expand the height as well right so that it covers this gap okay so I'm going to duplicate another copy of this Control D and move it up so that we use it as a top layer. Okay. In order to fill this gap, we can extend the width that fills out the width. Okay. And we're going to create a camera. You start with 5 mm. Hit OK. And layer new. And I'm going to create a null object. For the controller let's rename this controller okay so link parent this camera to the controller so that we can control the movement using this null object make sure this is a 3d layer as well okay so go to go and select this background image and maybe i'm going to extend the width even more and the bottom as well so what i'm going to do is turn on the title as well select the null object hit p on the keyboard to bring up the position and hold down shift and hit page down five times one two three four five set a keyframe and i want to come back to the first frame and i'm going to move this y axis somewhere at the top something like this all right so you have this and Hold down shift and page down five times again one two three four five and i'm gonna move it up somewhere here all right so once you're done with that select all the keyframes hit f9 for easy ease and select this middle keyframe and if you go to the graph editor i'm gonna right click on this point go to 
keyframe velocity and I'm gonna in set this influence to 100 both to 100 hit OK and if you play it back now you see a very cool movement okay just select this point again right click keyframe velocity again so influence to 100 incoming velocity to 100 and the outgoing to 0 hit OK and I'm gonna do the same for this select right click keyframe velocity I'm gonna set this influence to 100 and this to 0 hit OK so if I play back okay that's very nice and let's go ahead and duplicate the the text layer control D I'm gonna select all the other three duplicate layers and I'm gonna check this and hide it okay this is a hide layers you can always find it by hitting this button so we can find it back okay so once you are done with that let's create some depth using those chains that you've seen in the original example so I'm gonna drag and drop this chain inside this make it a 3d layer go to motion tile and drag and drop this motion tile and you might want to increase the width again and hit P on the keyboard and play with the position all right so that we have some sort of 3d depth you know in the composition so I'm gonna duplicate this again control D and maybe I wanna scale it down or maybe push it back backwards right behind the text and maybe even rotate it and the whole idea is to is to you know build some variation and randomness in the scene all right so here I have the basic setup and I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer and rename this effect okay so go to the effects and presets and search for VR and I'm gonna add a VR chromatic aberration drag and drop it just put it in the default settings and grab this VR glow okay so you have a little bit of glow here you can play around with the glow however you want and I'm gonna do some keyframes on the opacity of this adjustment layer hit T on the keyboard hold down alt and click on the stopwatch and type in wiggle inside the bracket you can type in 0.5 comma and 100 okay if you want to make some more intense you can increase these values maybe 2 and set this to 200 okay all right so so once we build this scene how do you transition it to the other scene you know that might be a very very confusing question for you if you were a beginner in After Effects so the way I like to do things is that I want to make sure that everything is organized in this project panel so that we build each and every scene in a separate pre comps and we put together all those pre comps inside one single final composition together so let me show you what I mean by that all right so let's create a folder to organize this I'm gonna rename this scene 1 okay hit OK I'm gonna select all these layers right click and I'm gonna pre-compose this okay pre-compose it and rename this scene 1 hit OK so we have the scene 1 pre -com, which is this scene 1 inside this scene 1 we have the image placeholders final title and drag and drop it inside this scene one and we have this title as well all right so these are the all all the precoms that live inside this scene one composition all right so what I'm gonna do is select this scene one control D to duplicate so now it's scene two and I'm gonna go inside here and rename this scene two and I'm gonna oops I'm gonna rename all these as number two 
even this scene two and title say two so and rename this title as title one all right so if you open this scene two you have the exact same thing going on it's just that we just changed the name from scene one to scene two all right so what we're going to do here is go inside this image placeholder two and double click to open it you can replace this image with a new image which i'm going to do it right away drag and drop a new image here and you can delete the first one and you can scale it down to fit the composition just like we did for the scene one all right so we have changed the image close this out and we're gonna select these three images you know select all these three images and we're gonna replace this placeholder one by the placeholder two so hold down alt and drag and drop this image placeholder two on top of that and it will replace it the same goes for title one and we have a bunch of titles we have hidden that so the same goes for final title one all right so first things we're gonna first things first you're just gonna go inside this final title two and you want to change this title one from motion designer to i don't know after effects okay okay so inside this final title two you have the final title one and we're going to replace this final title two with this hold down alt drag and drop it all right so you have the final title two inside this and go back and this final title one replaced by final title two hold down alt drag and drop it so you have that motion design and the scene one you have after effects one thing i forgot to do is that i haven't turned on the this shy layers while we pre-compose that so i'm gonna select all this Control x to cut it and paste it inside this okay all right now that you have the scene one and scene two you can add some variation in the chains and right click transform and horizontal and it can also, you know, the, the whole idea is to make some variations in the design. And you can do whatever you want here. So how do you put these two comps together so that you have a very seamless transitions from one scene to the other? All right, so I'm gonna show you that. Let's go inside this main comp. And I'm gonna extend this. So Control K to bring up this composition settings and we have two compositions so i'll make it 10 seconds hit ok and go inside the project panel and drag and drop this scene two on top of that and let's come here and we're gonna align we're gonna try to align it perfectly you see this black here where it's blank we're gonna select this scene two and move it and try to adjust it exactly where where it overlaps okay that is the perfect match all right one very important thing to note is that if you go inside the scene one make sure you turn on the motion blur for the layers and for the composition and for scene two the same let's turn this motion blur if you want to learn more after effects watch this video this is motion designer and i will see you in my next video take care